What's going on guys? Austin with Fuelcraft Survival and today I'm here to talk to you about our new modular visor panel. And I guess I really shouldn't say new because Mike Glover designed this a few years ago based off his experiences in special forces and his time as a contractor working for the US government. And similar to the mobility bag, we, he wanted this product to have quick and ready access to your life-saving equipment. Mike decided to bring this back to the drawing board and ask for input from the whole team. And when we gave our inputs, we came up with a prototype and now we have it into production like how you see it here today. And I really wanna show you guys the new and improved version. And first off, I wanna start by showing you guys how to correctly install this into your vehicle. So let's get to it. Your visor panel will come with a few parts inside. It'll have three of these hook and loop attachment strips as well as the base, which is made of hook and loop as well. And then the modular part of the visor panel will attach. As you can see, it has the Molly sewn in here, as well as the handles for the quick disconnect. For installation of the base pad of your modular visor panel, just drop down your visor, open all your attachment strips up, and face it towards you. Now all I need to do is run these strips behind my visor and up and over. Once the base is correctly centered onto the visor, all I need to do is attach my straps. And that correctly installs the base. And then all I have to do is attach the modular portion. And now I'm ready to attach the pouches to my modular visor panel. So the pouches that you have available with your visor panel are the med pouch, the GP or the general purpose, the mesh pouch, and the admin pouch. Now, what Mike Glover, when he came up with the system, his suggestion was to have med, as well as your GP, your general purpose, on the driver's side of the vehicle. For the passenger side of the vehicle is where you can have your admin pouch with your vehicle insurance information, registration information, or whatever you think that you would wanna have in this see-through carded portion, as well as any other type of kit that you may wanna have on your visor that you would deem life-saving equipment. So a few things you need to consider with your new visor panel are these pull tags on your zippers. Now, for some vehicles, this could be a problem. Where I sit fairly high in this vehicle, these pull tags can actually be in my line of sight. If I'm in a big truck, probably not so much. You got a few options. One. Tuck them up out of the way. Super simple. Uh, another, if that isn't working for you, all you have to do is take these off, stuff them inside the pouch and keep them for if you decide to transition to another vehicle. Also, I want you to think about with some of the older vehicles, you may notice that your visor can sag, especially when you fill these up. Um, in mo most of the newer vehicles, you're not gonna have that problem. But if you do, I would suggest that you take some of the equipment out of these and put them into the passenger side. You don't want to have this because this can actually be a hazard to you if you ever were to get into an accident. Lastly, we wouldn't suggest that you attach your trauma shears, a knife or a flashlight or anything that could be a hazard to you if you get into an accident on the outside of the pouches. Just take those items and simply put them inside a pouch so they're there if you need them. So a few of the new features for the visor panel are the thickness of the pouch that it comes with. This is the pouch for your go bag, your mobility go bag. As you can see, this is half, maybe even a quarter of the size of this pouch. A few of the other features are the quick disconnect cord that's attached to your pouches, as well as the modular portion itself. So those are a few of the configurations and features of the new version of the visor panel. But the feature we're most excited to show you guys is the modularity between systems. So now I can go directly from the base of my visor panel rip that off and attach it to my mobility go bag. The mobility go bag featured here and configured here as a seat back panel, which gives me access from driver's side or passenger side, depending on which side you set it up on, to that life-saving equipment, as well as the additional passengers of my vehicle have access. I can also take my mobility go bag from this configuration, zip it up, unclip it, and have it on the go as a backpack. So you can see the seamless transition between the two systems, but not just those two systems but also the new products we're coming out with at Fuelcraft Survival, the 20 liter duffel bag and the 40 liter duffel bag. This is the 20 liter, which is actually gonna be available here in the next few weeks 
on fuelcraftsurvival.com. You can actually go on the website, sign up and put in your email to get notifications for when these two products come out. But you can see the visor panel is just adhered through hook and loop onto the lid of the duffel bag, which allows me to continue the ecosystem and flow between all the products. Guys, we're really excited to bring you all these new products because we want you to be a better prepared version of yourself. The Fuelcraft Survival Mobility Visor Panel is available right now on the website, fuelcraftsurvival.com. Go on there, search it, check it out, and pick one of these up. You'll be happy that you did. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe, uh, hit the little bell in the corner, and get notifications for when new videos are coming out where we talk about products, survival, med, tactics, and a slew of other things that we love to bring to you guys from Fieldcraft Survival. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.